Welcome guys in this new uh, video tutorial. So um, today we're going to discuss about a new mod that have been released recently in uh, AFA++. So this mod is called the Frida mod. So it's using a Frida instead of a QMU. Uh, it's basically exactly the same uh, idea, the same concept. It's uh, exactly the same, uh, but the only difference will be that uh, instead of uh, running the target, um, inside a QMU and um, getting some um, coverage information directly from a QMU. Uh, we're gonna, in that case, use a Frida and directly get instrumentation um, code and instrumentation feedback from Frida and from the instrumentation of Frida. So that's the that's the idea. So uh, as I mentioned, yes, it has been released re really recently, like in June 2021. Um, in this uh, specific release. So um, if you want uh, first to take a look at what uh, it's all about, you have a dedicated readme uh, that is uh, right there, a really nice um, readme. You have all the information. Um, as you can see, uh, it's still uh, under progress and there is a lot of features that are uh, not uh, yet uh, implemented uh, and supported in the Friday mod. Uh, but basically it will be uh, large enough for the moment. Uh, and you have all the stuff regarding compatibility, uh, usage, and so on, but uh, I'm going to uh, discuss that uh, right now. So if you are not familiar with uh, Frida, uh, basically Frida is one of the most famous uh, toolkits for uh, dynamic uh, instrumentation. Um, it's mainly known for um, all the mobile stuff, so uh, Android and iOS, uh, but uh, it uh, actually also supports uh, Linux binary, uh, so uh, that's uh, what we're going to do uh, right now. Uh, it's really nice, really efficient, uh, well developed, the API is really nice and so on. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the idea. Um, to give you a bit more detail of how it's working usually, um, you will create like um, some Frida script uh, that will basically define what will be the operation and how you are planning to instrument uh, what we are doing. Um, you can call that like a Frida analysis script or, or running script. Uh, and basically, uh, the way IFL is working with that is uh, it, they create a dedicated script for instrumentation of uh, binaries. And uh, basically, um, he, this script is going to do the interface between IFL and uh, the Frida uh, execution and the Frida hooking uh, on this binary. So uh, let's start. Um, so, uh, as usual, um, you have this uh, cheat sheet available directly on the link uh, below. Um, so, basically, the first thing you need to do is first, of course, to install AFL. So, that's something that I have already done right there in this uh, AFL++ repository. So, you need to do a, a Mac to compile um, AFL++. Uh, in that case, I'm getting some errors. Uh, but whatever, doesn't really matter, it's working, uh, it's still working. Um, then you need to compile this new mod. Uh, so basically we create some new target, uh, some new um, um, binary, all the libraries that are needed and so on. Uh, so you need to check first if you have all the dependency, but it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, then uh, we can go into the Frida um, mode um, repository. Uh, folder, so this one, and you can just compile it. So I already done the job, but basically you are doing make and uh, you will get all the uh, logging information uh, regarding the uh, compilation of this right demo. So really straightforward, really simple. Um, as usual, the, the developer of AFL++ is doing a pretty good job uh, making it pretty straightforward for compilation and so on. So the next step uh, in that case is uh, to uh, select the target. So just to uh, simplify the stuff, um, I'm gonna sorry, I'm gonna reuse a target that um, we are already familiar with. So basically, for the other example, uh, I'll choose a pretty uh, poor target. Uh, I mean, it's uh, poor in the sense that we are not supposed to find any bugs and it's really not optimized. So it's PDF info. Um, so basically, we'll take a PDF as an input and uh, based on this PDF, it will read this PDF and extract a bunch of information from, from, from that. Um, it's not a 
a source only binary, uh, you can find the source and so on. But basically, I took the PDF info that was already installed on my system. So I'm running on Ubuntu 2004, I think. Um, so basically, I just took this binary um, right on the system and I don't have the source and anything like that. The main reason I'm reusing the same target, uh, it's basically because um, we you will also be able to compare the uh, speed and uh, I mean execution speed and result uh, against QMU and since I already uh, play with uh, this target with QMU and I mean I'm gonna run that right after with QMU and you will see the, the difference. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with this Friday mode to be uh, honest. Uh, it seemed pretty promising, uh, maybe even more than QMU, we will see. So uh, basically, you need to prepare your fuzzing uh, targets. Um, so um, in this case, uh, we have a corpus. So we have PDF info. We have a corpus of PDFs that we're going to use. Uh, I create an input folder, uh, in folder. There is only one PDF inside, just to just for testing, basically. And we have the out uh, or out folder uh, folder. So it's basically uh, everything will be put into this out folder uh, later. So let's give a try. We are running AFL++ AFL first and we are using this new mode, the Friday mode, and basically it's dash O um, to run this mode. Then we have dash I, the input folder, dash O minus O, um, the output uh, folder, uh, dash dash, and after that we have a PDF info and add, add to replace uh, to the proper um, input that will be first, basically. So let's run that. Um, what you will see uh, right there is uh, basically we have um, uh, we have uh, AFL plus, uh, plus plus and the Friday mode that is running. In terms of speed, we have something like 700 um, execution per second. Um, what is more interesting is to see uh, what is happening exactly. Uh, something will is happening, uh, definitely, uh, because uh, we have six favorite paths and the cycle is already done. So uh, clearly, uh, I think he is not uh, really appreciating the fact that there is only one file uh, inside, uh, that is like one PDF. Um, that is this one, so uh, maybe not a, a good um, example right now. Let's um, take a look with the uh, corpus PDF. So let's do corpus PDF. As you can see, you're going to just process uh, all the files that are uh, inside the corpora. So it looks like most of them are uh, not really interesting, but let's move on. We can see that the speed actually slowed down uh, a bit. Uh, there is multiple reasons for that. The first is, of course, the mutation algorithms that are uh, actually used. So in that case, uh, AVOX, Splice, depending on which one, it will be more or less um, uh, fast. Um, the second reason will be the size of the input file. Uh, basically, the uh, bigger the input file is, uh, the most time uh, it will take. Um, so that's uh, often why uh, uh, IFL will mention, uh, okay, uh, like this one, this one. Uh, some test cases are actually really huge, like one megabyte. Um, so it, what will be better is just to uh, maybe reduce them or at least only keep the um, input files that are really um, like around some hundred of kilobytes uh, maximum. So yeah, we are around uh, for 500 uh, execution per second basically. Uh, we can see that uh, we are um, reaching some new paths over the time, so it's nice. Uh, it's a, a good uh, indicator that um, something is happening and it's pretty nice. We are getting some timeouts um, and uh, we are getting uh, more, uh, more coverage uh, over the time. So it seems to be working pretty well um, and um, I mean that's the idea. So uh, that was basically with a, a bigger corpora. Let's keep in mind that it, it's usually what you should do directly. But um, yeah, that's nice. So uh, let's compare that directly with um, QMU. Uh, so I don't think I compile this uh, specific version of AFL with the QMU mod. Let's take a look. We're going to use out uh, QMU just to be sure 
we're not gonna get any issue there. Uh, PDF info, yeah, so I don't have QMU installed for that. So let's uh, use uh, um, another IFL that I got, uh, basically fuzzing, fuzzing IFL plus plus IFL fuzz. So it's another one. And uh, basically it's gonna do exactly the same thing. Um, we, let me verify, we actually change the arguments. Uh, let's be sure. We have dash Q for QMU. So we're gonna directly compare uh, the result of both of them. So um, during the time it will do that, uh, let me uh, continue with that. So um, if um, you are getting some um, error like core pattern, uh, performance and so on, uh, basically you need to run this command it's just to um, put your CPU into like a performance uh, mode. It's something that IFL uh, is doing for quite a long time. Uh, you can bypass that using some specific uh, environment uh, argument. Uh, I don't remember exactly which one, but uh, yeah, you, you will get the information by IFL++ basically. Uh, some other stuff you can do to improve your fuzzing and also give a try. Uh, basically, um, the um, AFL++ uh, Magner uh, mentioned that the uh, compare uh, log uh, instrumentation is actually uh, really nice and works really well with uh, Frida. So you can just set that with dash C0 uh, um, and um, you will in theory, uh, for what I've tested, I, I have a bit of a better performance, but I mean, I'm only testing like um, just on some target on one shot so uh, i don't know if it's something like really generic like it's better for most of the targets you will get um, i don't know if we can say that but um, yeah you you can give it a try uh, usually what i always invite um, especially if you are doing blackberry fusing uh, like that uh, you have a, a bunch of corpora and so on um, and um, by default uh, if you are only running like that uh, it will be um, only one instance of AFL, so only one core, uh, on especially one thread, I would say. Um, so basically, you can just run one uh, AFL++ with uh, Frida, uh, one AFL++ with Frida plus uh, this uh, mode, one AFL++ with the QMU mode, and so on and so on. So just run multiple core uh, with the same uh, base uh, corpora, and uh, you will see, it will evolve over the time and so on. And uh, after some time, um, the good idea will be to merge uh, if you don't have any crush, I mean, uh, just merge uh, everything, uh, like all the uh, output folder and everything that is on the queue and so on, just merge everything into one specific folder and just rerun the further with that as a, a, a starting uh, corpora. That will be uh, a good solution and you can just move on uh, on that. So that's the idea. Um, of course, uh, to improve the uh, fuzzing process, uh, it's always better to improve your corpora. It's where you should start first. It's really like the, the, the most basic um, stuff you can do to improve your fuzzing result. Uh, and uh, yeah, you should also take a look at the different uh, options that are available for uh, IFL Frida. It's also valid for IFL QMU, this uh, advice. Uh, so basically you have the IFL Frida persistent address. Uh, so um, you are, so you need to actually take a look at the target, reverse the target uh, and find um, which address could be interesting to start um, the, the persistent loop. So what will happen is uh, instead of restarting the target from the beginning each time, um, basically uh, AFL uh, with Frida will restart from a specific address. You could really speed up your fuzzing uh, process, especially if you are targeting some huge target a huge piece of code i don't know you can think of um, uh, like a web browser uh, if you are targeting a web browser using a black box thing like this one um, basically uh, if you are able to just 
um, restart the fuzzing um, some address before uh, all the parsing stuff will happen like you have all the initialization of the, the web browser that is done correctly and then you are only restarting from that uh, it could be uh, it could be really nice uh, that will basically help uh, a lot your your speed i mean it would be uh, really critical so let's take a look. Uh, so that's the QMU mode, and as you can see, uh, we are some we have some new paths and so on. But especially in terms of speed, uh, we can see that um, it's pretty equivalent to what um, of the stage we was with uh, Frida. So we can actually compare the speed, and in that case, uh, we are definitely not go getting the same execution speed. Uh, so for this target, um, it seems that uh, IFL Frida is uh, faster, um, and uh, I was not using this um, this uh, compare log uh, instrumentation. So let's give it a try. So we uh, are already familiar, and we already know right now that um, IFL with the Frida mode seems to be better. So let's do um, this one. So as you can see, dash C, um, O, I mean zero, and uh, we are executing the stuff. We can see that actually my core is not really nice. Um, and in terms of speed, I think we are uh, getting a bit more speed. Maybe, I mean, we need to wait and it will uh, fl fl fluctuate it basically. But uh, yeah, it seems to be, to be pretty good. Um, Okay, yeah, let's, uh, I mean, just need to wait and see what here, what will happen. Uh, it's basically the, the main idea. But um, on the paper right now, it seems to be uh, better uh, and uh, faster. So that's uh, that's nice. Uh, but yeah, usually you will need to let the further run. Ideally, you need to just run two instances and let that run for like, I don't know, one day, one week, it's even better. And you can directly get a, a clear comparison because you will get multiple cycles that will be uh, done. So you will get a proper uh, result uh, for comparison. So uh, as usual, um, you have everything, all the files, the corpora and so on, uh, directly available on uh, my uh, train website. So that's basically the installation to black box version. It's completely free. You will get access to all the documents for um, not only this video, that is uh, this one, but also for the, um, the three other videos we already mentioned uh, previously. So let's take, a, I mean, I invite you to take a look at that. And as usual, if you want to take a look at uh, my other training, uh, I mean, feel free uh, to, to do so and uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have uh, any questions. So I hope you appreciate and um, let me know on the comment uh, also if you have some other, not only target, but even further that you want me to try or um, I don't know. If you have any idea of interesting video, uh, please uh, let me know. So uh, thank you. Bye and uh, happy fuzzing.